of OAN like anyone can even know that. All right, guys. So just to make sure we're all on the same page, what I'm about to show here is an extension or an add-on for a previous video I made called how to set up a simple Active Directory environment for red teaming. You'll find that link at the top of the description. So if you haven't already done that video, what I'm about to show here wouldn't really make that much sense. Right now, if you can remember right at the end of that video, we disabled basically our virus protection uh, by going to virus and threat protection, manage settings, and then we toggled all these off, right? Now, here's the thing, guys, for many circumstances, this would be fine um, and would basically help us to perform our attacks. Um, but I found that with certain attacks, and it's actually not that uncommon, especially on Windows 11, that even though you've kind of told Defender to shut itself off and not be involved, it's almost kind of like the one US Office episode uh, where Michael wanted to be Survivor Man. And if you remember, um, Dwight dropped Michael off somewhere in the Pennsylvanian wilderness and then Michael told him to leave. So Dwight pretended to leave and Michael thought Dwight had left. Uh, but Dwight was actually there keeping an eye on Michael and basically making sure that it, he didn't kill himself. So in a way, you know, Dwight was being kind of like this shadow big brother, right? He was kind of like lurking in the shadows and just making sure Michael was okay. Now here's the thing with Defender. If you just go here and toggle these things off, it's kind of like the same thing. You think that Defender is no longer active, but actually it is. And it will actually still periodically interfere. Uh, you'll find sometimes if you especially run malicious code, uh, it'll initially execute and you'll, for example, get a reverse shell on, let's say, a interpreter handler, uh, but it'll last about five seconds and you'll see that actually Windows uh, Defender went, uh, killed the process and deleted the file. So obviously we don't want this interference in a simulated environment when we're practicing our red teaming. And so here I'm going to show now what I call the deep disabling of Defender, because we're going to go in deep into the registry and we're going to come completely disable Defender. Uh, now I do want to mention that this is adapted or basically inspired uh, by instructions given by Eric Capuano who has a great blog called So You Want to Be a Sock Analyst uh, which is a course you can do by yourself. It'll probably take you about an afternoon and I highly recommend you do it. Uh, there's a lot of nice little introductory things you'll learn there uh, and I'll also link that uh, on the top of the description uh, in case you wanted to go ahead and do that. All right, so that being the case, uh, let's just go ahead and do it. So the first thing we want to do is disable Defender via the Group Policy Editor. Uh, so we're going to hit the Windows R shortcut, and that brings up the Run dialog box, and we'll write gpedit.msc or Group Policy Editor. All right, I'm just going to maximize it, uh, open that up a bit, and then we'll go to Administrative Templates, Windows Components. Uh, I'm going to press M to take me down to the M. Uh, and then here we can see Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Right? And here is a setting key called Turn Off Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So let's double click that. Uh, and this opens up and you can see at the moment it is not configured. Uh, now here's the thing, kind of intuitively, immediately you want to maybe say disabled, right? Because you want to disable Defender. Uh, but look at the title, it's a little bit sneaky. It says turn off Microsoft Defender. So if we disable turning off, uh, we've effectively turned it on. It's a double negative. Uh, so in this case, we actually want it to be enabled. Okay, so change it to that. And then importantly, hit apply and okay. And we can go out of group policy editor now. Right, and so we have two more steps left. Um, the first one, we're just going to open an administrative uh, command prompt and we're basically gonna add a, a registry key. Um, so just click there and you can just write CMD. We can see command prompt right there. I'm gonna right click, say run as administrator, say yes. Um, and I'm gonna paste the following command. Oh, and it just executed itself there automatically. Sorry, I, I, I kinda wanted to pause there for a second. In any case, um, what I would recommend is pause the video right now and the part that I highlighted, uh, just write that down. Right, so that's the third step. And we're gonna have uh, one more step to go. Uh, and this one's probably the kind of like most extensive or most, it's not complicated, but it's got the most work. Uh, so once again, we'll hit Windows R. We're gonna write msconfig. 
we're gonna reboot now in safe mode. So we'll go to boot, we'll go to safe mode, we'll, uh, sorry, safe boot, we'll click that. I'll hit apply, I'll hit okay. It's gonna tell me we have to restart. So we have to do that. And so now the system's gonna restart in safe mode. And just be aware that we're basically gonna lose VMware tools here, um, which means we're not gonna have our 16 to nine aspect ratio anymore. It's gonna switch over to a four to three aspect ratio. Just a little uglier, maybe visually a little harder to work with, but still nothing we can't handle. All right, here obviously it's very small. Uh, so just go up to the top, go to VM, uh, sorry, go to view, stretch guest, keep aspect ratio stretch. So at least we can read what's going on. Now type in your password. Right, again, Windows R, um, and we'll write reg edit. So now that we're in the registry editor, we're going to edit the value of six different keys. And for each of these keys, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna change the start value to four, right? So maybe that doesn't make any sense now, but you'll see that soon enough. So let's maximize this. We have computer, let's uh, expand H key local machine. Let's expand system. Let's expand current control set. Let's expand services. And now we'll basically change the six values, right? Uh, one of them starts with an S, so I'll press S. I'll take you down to the S's. And we'll click on sets. And remember what I said? We're going to change the start value to four. So obviously here we can see start. I'll double click on it. You can see the value is three. I'll change it to four, hit okay. Cool. And now all the remaining five values are all under W. So I press W to take me there. First one, W D boot. We can double click on start, change it to four, okay. Uh, then we have WD filter right there. Once again, double click start, four, okay. Three down, three to go. Then we have these ones, the WD NIS drive and WD NIS service. Um, once again, double click and start, four, okay. And again, and one left to go, which is called Win Defend right there. So we'll double click that change it to four okay now that's pretty much it just one thing we need to do is get back out of safe mode into our regular mode and so we'll reverse our steps from before windows r ms config hit enter go to boot deselect safe boot hit apply hit okay it's going to ask me to restart i'm going to restart and now guys we're going to restart back into our Win regular Windows environment, and now Defender will be completely disabled. So it won't interfere with any of our exercises, and really that's all I wanted to show today. Very quick and simple, but very important moving ahead for us so that we can go and really sink our teeth into some red team exercises. I'm about to publish right now another video on how we can get started with C2, uh, specifically with Metasploit. Um, and so look out for that video because it is going to be awesome, but until then, peace out.